And then we'll all begin by lying down on your backs. So as you make your way down, actually let's bend our knees, open your knees out wide and bring the soles of your feet together to touch. So it's like a butterfly shape with the legs. Allow your knees to fall out to the sides. And again, place one hand on your belly and the other hand on your heart, if you haven't already. And we'll take a few moments here in the beginning of class to settle down, to arrive on the mat, and to connect with our breath. So let's take three deep inhalations through your nose. When you're ready, inhale deeply through your nose. Feel your rib cage expanding. Pause when you're full. Open your mouth and exhale all the air out. Close your mouth and inhale through the nose. Once again, deep breath. And open your mouth, exhale all the air out. One more time. Inhale through your nose. Take your deepest, fullest breath of your day. And then exhale completely out through your mouth. Nice. Close your mouth. Allow the breath to return to a more natural rhythm, flowing in and out through your nose. And just take a few more breaths here. Maybe notice how you feel today, energetically, physically, and mentally. And allow the busyness of your day to fade away into the background as you devote the next 60 minutes to yourself and allow yourself to be present here on your mat, connecting with your body, connecting with your breath, and listening, listening in to what you need in the present moment. Good, and then we'll open our eyes and you can draw your knees together and hug your legs in towards your chest. Give your legs a nice squeeze. Maybe rock gently side to side, massaging your low back. And then extend your left leg down along the mat, keeping it straight and hug the right leg in towards the right side of your rib cage. And then let's circle the right ankle. So circling one way, keep breathing, and then circle the ankle the other way. And now inhale, squeeze that leg even tighter towards the side of your chest. As you exhale, lower the right knee all the way to the left side of your mat, all the way to the floor if you can. And then extend your right arm out towards the side for a spinal twist. If it's comfortable on your neck, you can even gaze towards the right. And breathe into the right side of your rib cage. And slowly make your way back to center. Hug both knees in towards your chest once again. And then extend the right leg down along the mat and keep hugging the left knee in towards the left side of your chest. And now let's circle the left ankle. Create big circles through that joint. And then the opposite direction. Good. Now inhale, squeeze the leg in. And exhale, lower that left leg all the way towards the right side of your mat, all the way to the floor maybe. And then extend the left arm out towards the side, finding that spinal twist on the left. Breathe into the left side of your rib cage, left lung expanding. Inhale, exhale. 
and slowly make your way back to center. Good. Now we're going to find a half happy baby. So keep your left leg bent, foot on the floor. Lift the right leg up and see if you can catch a hold of the outside of the right foot. So the outer edge of the right foot. If that's impossible, you can just grab a hold of the thigh and draw the thigh towards you. Otherwise, we're grabbing a hold of the outer edge of the right foot and then we're using our arm to gently guide the leg down and the knee down towards the outside of the right armpit. Good, breathe. Starting to open up through the hips. And you can imagine that your right foot wants to almost step on the ceiling. So obviously it won't, it won't step on the ceiling, but it's, it's flexing. So the foot is even and you're using your arm to gently guide the leg down. If you want to go a little bit further in this position, you can begin to extend the left leg down along the mat and that'll intensify the stretch even more. And if you did that, make sure that the left uh, leg is really engaged and the foot is flexed. Good, one more breath wherever you are, inhale. Exhale. Now, if you extended the left leg, re-bend it, and we'll cross the right ankle over the left leg for figure four. Then bring the shape of the legs towards your chest and interlace your fingers either behind that left thigh, or if you want a little bit more, on top of the left shin. Once you have the grip, draw the leg to legs towards your chest and find the stretch in the outer right hip and breathe. Keep the right foot flexed, so the one that's on top of your left leg. And you can even use your right elbow to gently guide the right leg forward and away from you. One more breath here. And then we'll release that. One final thing we'll do on the right leg before we switch sides. So interlace your fingers behind your right thigh, draw the thigh towards your chest once again and bend the right knee. From here, flex the foot and then we'll extend the right leg as long as we can, keeping the foot flexed. So finding that hamstring stretch and then re-bend the leg and we'll extend again and re-bend. Three more times, extend the leg, keep the foot flexed and bend. Two more, extend and bend and you'll feel your hamstring stretching behind your hands. And then when you, once you extend now, stay here, breathe. If you're a little bit more flexible, you can walk your hands up along your leg if you want, maybe catching a hold of the ankle. And also you can progress if the flexibility is there, you can uh, catch a hold of your right foot and draw the leg towards you. And of course, you're welcome to have a bend in the right leg, in the knee. And final step would be to begin to extend the left leg down along the mat. Once again, keeping the left leg really engaged and the toes of the left foot pointing up towards the sky. One more deep breath wherever you are. Inhale, exhale. And now we'll slowly release. Lower the right foot down. Take a second, maybe notice how the right leg feels now compared to the left, how we shifted some of that energy. And then we'll do the second side straight away. So lift the left leg and see if you can find that half happy baby where we catch a hold of the outer edge of the left foot. Otherwise you can grab a hold of your thigh and work from there. But if you've managed to grab a hold of the outer edge, work to draw that leg down towards the floor on the outside of the left armpit. And again, the foot of the left leg is reaching up towards the sky and breathe. To intensify, you can begin to slowly extend the right leg down along the mat, keeping the foot flexed. And breathe. You might, you might notice that one side is tighter than the other, and that's completely normal. We often perform uneven asymmetric actions throughout our day. So it's normal that one side feels tighter than the other. Just one more breath here, wherever you are. And then slowly ease out of that. Rebend the right leg if you had straightened it. And then we'll place the left ankle on top of the right thigh for that figure four shape. So draw the legs towards your chest and interlace your fingers either behind the right thigh 
or on top of the right shin. Draw the legs towards your chest and breathe. Keep the left foot flexed, the one that's on top of the right thigh, and maybe use your left elbow to gently guide the left leg forward. Make sure that your shoulders are away from your ears, drawing down, finding length in your neck, in your back. And one more breath here. And release. Good. Final thing, our hamstring stretch. So interlace your fingers behind the left thigh and draw the thigh towards your chest, first step. Flex the left foot and then extend the left leg, but keeping the thigh more or less in the same position. And then bend the knee and then extend the leg. Good, three more times. Extend and bend and extend. Keep the foot flexed, bend. And one more time, extend and bend. Good, now extend and stay here. Breathe into that hamstring stretch. If you want, you can start walking your hands up along the thigh. You can pause wherever you, you feel like your limit is and breathe into that stretch. If you want, you can walk the hands all the way up, maybe catching a hold of the foot, drawing the leg in towards your chest, and then maybe even extending the right leg down along the mat. Again, make sure that the right toes point up towards the sky and the right leg is really engaged as you work to draw the left leg towards the chest. One more breath wherever you are, inhale and exhale. Nice, and release. Well done. <laughs> so we'll come to, uh, to roll forward. We'll roll along the spine. So grab it behind your thighs round the back and we'll rock forward and back maybe three times, massaging your spine. See if you can control the movement as much as you can. One more time. And then roll forward, maybe roll over your shins or any way you can make your way into a tabletop position. You might have to walk yourself further back so you can be in the center of your mat. And then we'll make sure that our um, hands are fully grounded down on the floor. Spread your fingers, make sure your index finger is pointing straight forward. Align your knees so they're hips width apart and underneath your hips and point your toes straight back. From here, we'll find cat cow. So drop your belly, arch your back, gaze forward, inhale here. As you exhale, press the mat away, round your spine, gaze towards your belly. Inhale, arch your back, gaze forward, tailbone up. And exhale, round your spine, gaze towards the navel. Inhale, back bend, open your spine, gaze forward. And exhale to round. Just one more time, inhale, open your chest. And exhale, round. Good. Now find a neutral spine and walk your hands forward keeping your hips exactly over your knees. So nothing changes in the hips and in the legs. You're simply walking your arms forward. Then begin to sink the chest down towards the earth, finding puppy pose, but keep your elbows straight. Eventually, maybe your forehead will make it down onto the mat. And then breathe here. If you want to go further, you can, um, you can gaze forward, lift the head, and maybe lower the chin down towards the floor, looking forward. But wherever you are, make sure your elbows are straight and you're really actively pressing down into the floor through your hands. Two breaths, breathing deeply into your upper back. One more breath. and then slowly make your way back up into tabletop. Good. From here, we'll extend the left leg back and tuck your toes down onto the floor. So once you have that, begin to rock backwards and forwards, backwards and forwards. So you're sending the heel of that left foot as far back as you can, and then coming forward as far forward as you can onto your tippy toes. Keep going, keep breathing, keep your core engaged neutral spine, and you're finding that um, nice stretch in your calf muscle. 
One more breath. Good, and now pause in the center and lift that left leg up off the floor, making the leg parallel with the floor. Extend the right arm forward, reaching forward through your fingertips. Make sure your core is engaged, draw the belly in, lift the leg a little bit higher, extend the arm further forward. You have the option to stay here, or if you want to go further, inhale for length. As you exhale, round your back and draw the left knee towards the right elbow underneath your belly. Inhale, re-extend, find that length, and exhale to round and curl. Three more of those if you're taking this option. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, lengthen. And exhale, round. Final time, inhale, length. And exhale to round. And then release the arm, release the foot down. Good job. And we'll do the second side. So right leg will extend back. Tuck your toes. And let's begin to rock forward and backwards. Onto that foot, forwards and backwards. Finding some mobility in the right ankle, stretching the calf. Keep breathing. Good, and pause in the center. Lift the right leg off the mat. Keep the leg really straight and strong. Make sure that the toes of the right foot are pointing down towards the floor. Draw the core in and extend your left arm forward. Breathe here. Option one would be to stay exactly as you are right here. Option two, inhale for length. Exhale to round your back, curl, draw the, the left elbow towards the right knee. <laughs> inhale to re-extend and exhale, round your back, knee to elbow. Inhale, extend, lengthen and exhale to round. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, round, curl. Final time, inhale, lengthen, and exhale to round and curl. Good, and release. Well done. <laughs> so tuck your toes underneath you and sit your hips back over your heels and lift your chest up. Good. Make sure your pinkies are also tucked under. And this might be very, very intense on your feet. If it is, you can lean forward. And if, you, if it's unbearable, you can just come out of that and sit on your heels uh, with the feet pointed. But if you're okay, interlace your fingers behind your back. Straighten your elbows if possible and open your chest up towards the sky. Sending the knuckles down towards the floor, opening across the collarbones. Lift your gaze up, gentle back bend. And breathe, two breaths, inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Good, and slowly release. Come back forward, untuck your toes, maybe tap the feet a little bit. <laughs> Good, and maybe shift forward slightly onto your mat, so we'll come into downward facing dog. Before we go into down dog though, press into your hands, tuck the feet, and lift your knees, just maybe five or 10 centimeters off the floor for hovering tabletop. Five breaths here, building some more heat in the body. Keep the core engaged. Feel your thighs starting to wake up. Arms are working strong, straight through the elbows, press down into the mat. Good, one more breath. And then now lift your hips back and up, finding that downward facing dog. You can step your feet further back if you want, if you need to, finding length in your spine. And you can begin to pedal through the feet, bending one leg and then the other. Keep breathing. Good, and then find stillness in your down dog. And we'll bend our knees and walk the feet forward towards the front of the mat. Once you get there, make sure your feet are hips width apart and fold forward over your legs, relax your head down. Take a second, take a breath. And now find halfway lift. So lengthen through your spine, send your tailbone back, crown of your head reaches forward. Inhale here, exhale to fold again, completely over your legs. And this time as you inhale, we'll come all the way up to standing, reach your arms out to the side, reach up towards the sky, and exhale, hands in front of your heart in prayer. Well done. Stay exactly as you are. I'll just face, face you so you can see me a little bit better. Keep your feet hips width apart. Inhale, 
reach your arms up towards the sky, interlace your fingers, but release your uh, index and thumb finger. Reach up, lengthen, inhale here. As you exhale, lean over to the left. Keep reaching through the fingers, straighten your elbows and breathe. Breathe into the right side of your waist. Make sure both armpits are facing forward. One more breath, inhale, exhale. Inhale, come back to center, lengthen, and exhale, lean over to the right. Once again, straighten through your elbows, reach. Breathe into the left side of your waist. Maybe lift your chin a little bit off your chest. One more breath, inhale, exhale, and inhale back to center. Stay here, I'll just face forward. And now from here, release your hands, open your arms out to the sides, bend the elbows to 90 degrees, lift your chest and draw the elbows back behind you as far as you can. Lifting the chest, lifting the gaze, it's a gentle back bend. Keep drawing the arms as far back as you can. Breathe, one more breath. And then slowly release, re-extend your spine, reach your arms up and exhale to fold forward over your legs. Inhale, find that halfway lift where you lengthen your spine. And exhale, fold and step the left foot back. Lower your left knee down to the floor, point the back toes and come up. So make sure that the front foot is directly underneath that front knee. If not, you need to walk the right foot a little bit further forward. Once you have your stability here, inhale, extend your arms up towards the sky for that low lunge. Three breaths here, inhale, reach up, find length, and exhale, sink your hips further down towards the floor. Two more, inhale for length, exhale for depth. And one more time. Good, now lower your hands down, send the hips back over that left knee and begin to straighten through the right leg. So it's okay if the right leg is a little bit bent, that's fine. Just see what the hamstring allows and work to your level. So make sure that the right toes are flexed though. So the toes point towards your face and breathe. See if you can find a strong a straight spine. So your tailbone reaches back and the crown of the head reaches forward. One more breath, inhale and exhale. Good. Rebend the right leg, shift the weight forward, place your left hand on the inside of the right foot. So more or less underneath your shoulder, tuck the back toes under, lift the back knee off the floor and begin to turn your chest to the right. Eventually extend the right arm up towards the sky finding that uh, easy twist it's called. I'm not sure it's that easy, but we'll roll with it. <laughs> Keep reaching up through the right fingers. Engage the back leg so it's really strong. Keep squeezing the right knee in towards your midline. One more breath here, inhale. As you exhale, lower the right hand down on the outside of the right foot. We'll press into the ground as much as we can through the hands to round the back, create space. And then we'll step the right foot next to the left and we'll find plank. We'll stay in plank for three breaths. If you need to adjust your position, feel free. And breathe. Really strong through the whole body. One more breath. And now we'll all lower our knees down towards the floor. Point your toes and we'll do three push-ups. If you want to skip the push-ups, uh, you can. <laughs> Otherwise, make sure you're squeezing the elbows towards the side of your body. Inhale to prepare. Exhale, lower. And inhale to lift. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift. One more to lower. And lift. Now we'll lower all the way to the floor for a count of five, four, controlling three, two, and one. Good job. <laughs> Nice, so point your toes back, lengthen through the legs. Keep the hands exactly as they are, either side of your chest. Squeeze the elbows towards each other and we'll inhale for cobra. So as you inhale, lift your chest up. Exhale, lower down. Two more of those, inhale, lift your chest. 
and exhale lower. As you lift, make sure you're engaging your back muscles. Inhale, lift, exhale lower. Now press into your hands to lift yourself all the way up. Send the hips back towards your heels, tuck your toes and extend through the legs, finding downward facing dog. Take a few deep breaths in down dog. In and out through your nose. If you need to take a sigh through the mouth, feel free. Releasing any unwanted tension. Good. Inhale, reach your right leg up towards the sky. Bend the right knee and open the hip out towards the right. Create three circles through that right knee. The one that's in the air, creating circles with the knee. Three circles in one direction, keep breathing. And then three circles in the opposite direction. And when you have those, re-extend the right leg, inhale. Exhale, shift your weight forward, maybe tap the right knee to the right tricep. Inhale, re-extend the leg back and up. And exhale, right knee towards the left tricep, cross it under. Inhale, re-extend. And exhale, right knee towards your nose, squeeze, and then step the right foot forward in between the hands. So don't worry if that didn't work out. <laughs> if stepping forward looks like this, just grab your ankle and place the foot forward where you need it to go, okay? <laughs> Good, we'll find that lunge position. So all 10 toes point forward. When you have your stability through your legs, inhale, come all the way up, reach up through the fingers and sit the hips down. Three breaths here. Inhale, finding length, reaching up and exhale, hips move down towards the floor. Stay really strong through the back leg and then make sure that front knee is really bent, working through the legs, so one more breath. Good. From here, lean forward and circle your arms forward, down and back. Finding that airplane shape through the arms. Imagine you're flying through the air. <laughs> From here, make sure you're drawing your pinkies towards each other behind your back. And imagine you're creating one long line from the back heel of the left foot all the way along your back and coming out through the crown of your head. One more breath, I know the right leg is really working. From here, we'll transition into warrior three. If you know it, feel free to go straight there. Otherwise, step the left foot forward halfway along the mat. Transition the weight onto that right leg, okay? And then we'll lift from here the left leg up into the air. And it doesn't have to lift very far. So as far as you can get it, it's fine. Flex the left foot if you can, toes point down towards the floor, breathe. Keep squeezing the arms behind you. I know this is really challenging. If you lose the bounce, just come back into it. One more breath. And then we'll slowly press into the right foot to come up to standing if possible without placing the left foot on the floor. Good. Squeeze the left knee in towards your chest. Place the hands in front of your heart. Inhale. As you exhale, cross the left ankle over the right thigh for figure four. And then sit the hips down. So just like we did on the floor, figure four, this time standing. Good, lift your chest up a little bit higher. Maybe sink the hips further down a little bit more. One more breath, wherever you are, breathe, inhale, exhale. Slowly make your way up, press into the right foot to come up to stand. Left knee squeezes in and then place the foot down next to the right. Good job. Well done. That's a super challenging sequence. So don't worry if you lost your balance. It's okay. At the end of the day, we're just practicing yoga, right? So it's, it's just some fun. Let's take a second to connect with the breath once again. Maybe place one hand on your heart, one hand on your belly. Close your eyes. And feel the heartbeat underneath your hand. Notice how the right leg feels compared to the left. Take deep breaths in and out through your nose. Good. 
Good. And slowly open your eyes. We'll do second side, the left leg. So inhale, reach your arms up towards the sky. Invitation for gentle back bend at the top. And then exhale, fold forward over your legs. Inhale, find that halfway lift where you lengthen your spine. And exhale to fold once again, stepping the right foot back. Then lower the right knee down, point to the right toes behind you. Press into the front foot and lift up, low lunge, reach your arms up towards the sky. Again, making sure that the left foot is directly underneath the left knee. If not, walk the front foot a little bit further forward. And breathe. Every time you inhale, you reach a little bit further up towards the sky. And then every time you exhale, you allow the hips to sink further down towards the floor. One more breath. And then slowly release the hands down. Begin to straighten that left leg as you send your hips back. And the leg doesn't have to come fully straight. Just listen to where your body is today. You can have a bend in that knee, but make sure the left foot is flexed so the toes point towards your face. Three breaths here. See if you can find a straight spine. So the tailbone points back and the crown of the head reaches forward. One more breath. Good, now re-bend the front knee. Place your right hand on the inside of the right leg, the left leg, so that the hand is underneath your shoulder, more or less. Tuck the back toes, lift the back knee off the mat, begin to turn your chest to the left and then extend the left arm up towards the sky. If you want, you can even gaze up towards the left fingertips. Make sure the back knee is as straight as you can get it. Both legs really working. Squeeze the left knee in towards the midline, towards your chest. Don't let it splay out to the side too much. One more breath wherever you are. Inhale deeply and exhale. Then lower that left hand down onto the outside of the left foot. Press into the mat a lot. Round your back and then you can step that left foot back next to the right. Once again into plank. And breathe. So from this plank you have the option to either lower down onto your belly and lift up into that cobra that we did uh, earlier, or you can fall through a chaturanga if you know it. So in this round, I'll do the chaturanga, but feel free to do the cobra if you want. Inhale, exhale, lower down chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog, lift the chest, and exhale, downward facing dog. So if you did the Cobra option, you're still meeting us in down dog. Three breaths here. Take this moment to reconnect with that deep breathing, steady breath in and out through your nose. And then inhale, left leg reaches up towards the sky. Bend the left knee, open your hip. And let's create these circles through that left leg. First, three circles in one direction. And then three circles in the opposite direction. Keep the breath going. Good, and then re-extend the left leg. Reach it back and up, inhale. Exhale, shift the weight forward. See if you can tap the left knee to the left tricep. Inhale, re-extend the leg back and up. Exhale, left knee crosses under towards the right tricep. Inhale, re-extend the leg back and up. And exhale, shift the weight forward, squeeze the knee towards your chest, and then step the foot forward any way you can, underneath the uh, in between the hands, underneath your face, more or less. Make sure all 10 toes point forward. We'll come up into that lunge. When you're ready, press into your feet, lift up. Find that lunge, inhale, reach the arms up as high as you can and exhale, sink the hips further down. Good, two more breaths here. Inhale for length and exhale for depth into your lunge. One more. Now 
Nice. From here, lean forward with your chest, reach forward, circle the arms down and then reach the hands back. So fingertips reach back, squeeze the pinkies towards each other behind you. Make sure you're creating one long line from the back right heel, all the way along the back of the leg, the back of your spine and out through the crown of the head. Strong legs. Good job. One more breath here. Now we'll transition into that warrior three, standing on the left leg. If you wanna go straight there, go for it. Otherwise, step the right foot halfway forward. Find that balance and then shift the weight forward on the left leg as you reach the right leg up into the sky behind you. Make sure right toes are pointing down towards the floor. Breathe, squeeze the arms even more behind you. Well done. If you lose the balance, don't worry, just come back into it or take a break. One more breath. Good, now power down through the left foot to come up to standing. Don't let the right foot touch the floor if you can. Squeeze the right knee towards your chest. Place the hands in front of your heart in prayer, inhale. Exhale, lower the right ankle on top of the left thigh for figure four. Sit your hips down and lift the chest up, breathe. Flex the right foot, the one that's on top of the thigh just like we did on the floor. Two more breaths. I know the left foot is probably screaming at you. <laughs> That's okay. One more breath. Good. Power down through the left foot, lift up, lift the right knee up, and then step the right foot down next to the left. If you wanna shake out the legs a little bit, feel free. Good. And then come back forward, find that, uh, Hips width apart distance with your feet. One hand on the belly, one hand on the heart. Close the eyes again and breathe. Well done. That was a very challenging sequence, but you made it. Good. Two more breaths here. Nice, then open your eyes. Inhale, reach your arms up towards the sky. Again, gentle back bend if you want. And then exhale, fold forward over the legs. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen. And exhale, you can either jump back, step back, go through that chaturanga or through Cobra, I'll jump back. But if jumping is something you're, you're not doing, it's okay. Just step back and you can either meet us in down dog or flow through that Cobra where you lift the chest and then back into that dog. Otherwise jump back, Chaturanga, inhale, upward facing dog, and exhale, downward facing dog. Whatever that transition looked like for you, meet us in down dog. And then inhale, reach your right leg up towards the sky, but this time keep the hips squared. So the right leg will be straight or as straight as you can get it. And then hips will be pointing towards the floor. Inhale here for length and exhale, shift the weight forward, squeeze the right knee towards your chest, around your back, press the mat away. Squeeze the knee one breath, inhale and exhale, step the foot forward. Here we will now lower the back heel down Make sure that the back toes are pointing forward to a 45 degree angle. And we're going to lift up into warrior two. So lift up, cartwheel your arms and open your arms parallel to the floor. Make sure that you can still, still see your uh, right big toe. And if you can't, that just means you need to guide the right knee further out towards the pinky toe side edge of the right foot. Extend your arms and breathe, gazing forward over the right fingers. Two more breaths. One more breath. Good, from here, flip the front palm, reach up, reach back to the right arm, reverse warrior. Make sure the right knee is still bending. You have the option here to bend the left elbow and maybe thread the left arm behind your back, even maybe reaching to the outer right hip 
or the right uh, hip crease or somewhere along the back of your low back or glutes area. Opening a little bit more through the right side. Inhale, exhale, re-bend into the right knee. Inhale one more time, exhale. Good, come up, straighten the front leg. Extend your arms once again, lean forward, reach forward, inhale. Exhale, lower the right hand on your shin, open the chest out to the side, then extend the left arm up towards the sky for triangle. If you're more flexible, you can lower the right fingertips down onto the floor. Or of course, the whole palm can ground down if the flexibility allows, but again, listen to your body. And final option would be to bend the top elbow and once again, thread the left fingers into the right inner hip crease if you want. But make sure you're not collapsing the chest down. Open the chest out to the side, maybe gazing up. Breathe. Good. If you had bent the left elbow, re-extend it. And we'll all power down through the legs to come up. Engaging the core, good. Keep the front knee straight. Reverse triangle, just one breath. Inhale. Exhale, inhale, come up. We'll find side angle, bend the front knee. Option one, place your forearm onto that thigh and then extend the left arm up and forward. So fingertips reach forward. And then that would be option one. So you have the option to stay here. Option two, place the fingertips on the inside of the right foot, but make sure again, you're not collapsing your chest. You're opening the chest out to the side. Breathe here. Option three, plant the whole hand down on the floor. Option four <laughs> will be to, again, find that half bind with the left arm behind the back. And if you really want to go for it, if you really want to challenge yourself, but once again, I invite you not to push yourself, just work to your level. But if you want to go for it, bend the right arm as well, thread it under and find that uh, full bind. And once you do open the chest up to the sky, gaze up, one breath wherever you are, inhale, exhale. Good, release whatever you had it. We'll all meet into that first option with the elbow on the right thigh. Left hand, everyone, on the left hip. We'll transition into half moon. So step the left foot halfway forward, lower the right hand in front of the right foot and slightly to the right on the floor on your fingertips. Shift the weight into the right leg and begin to extend the left leg up into the sky. And you can stay here. The right knee can be bent, it's okay. See if you can open the chest and the hips out towards the left. Breathe. If it's going well, you can extend the left arm up towards the sky. Breathe here. And then final option would be to bend the top leg if you want. And maybe find the foot behind you, catch a hold of it, and then kick into your own hand to open the chest. One breath wherever you are, inhale, exhale, and then release the foot if you had it, bend the front knee, slowly step the left leg back. Lower the left hand down onto the inside of the right foot. Plant the right hand down as well. Press into your hands around your back and step right foot next to left. Arriving into that plank once again, inhale. And exhale, flow through Chaturanga or Cobra. Inhale, upward facing dog or Cobra. And exhale, downward facing dog. Well done. We have that same sequence on the left leg and then we're done with the challenging part, more or less. We'll make our way down onto the floor. If you need a child's pose at this point, feel free to take it. Three breaths here, either in child's pose or in down dog. Good. Come back into down dog if you took child's pose. We'll all extend the left leg up as we inhale. Keeping the hips square, legs straight if you can. Inhale here. And exhale, shift your weight forward. Squeeze the left knee in towards your chest. Press the mat away as much as you can. One breath, inhale. And exhale, step the foot forward in between your hands. Lower the back heel down. Point the back toes forward to 45 degrees. We'll cartwheel our arms to come all the way up, warrior two. Extend your arms parallel to the floor, bend the front knee. Make sure you can still see the front big toe. If not, guide the left knee towards the outside of the left foot. 
and breathe. Three breaths in warrior two. Relax the shoulders, down away from your ears. Reach in opposite direction, directions through your fingertips. One more breath. Good. Now flip the front palm, reach up, reach back through the left hand, reverse warrior. Option to bend the right elbow and maybe place the right hand on the outside of the left glute, low back area. And make sure you're still bending into that front leg. Reach back to the left fingertips, one more breath. And slowly come up, straighten the front leg, extend your arms, reach forward, inhale. Exhale, lower the left hand onto the left chin, open your chest to the side and extend the right arm up. Stay here or option two, lower the fingertips on the inside of the left leg making sure your chest is still open. Option three, plant the whole hand down on the floor. And final option, maybe bend the top elbow, place the hand on the inner left hip crease and breathe. One more breath, whatever option you took, inhale, exhale. Release the top arm if you had bent it, press into your feet and slowly come up. Reverse triangle, one breath, reach back. Inhale and exhale and come up. Bend the front knee, side angle. Place the forearm onto the thigh, open the chest to the side and then extend the right arm alongside your ear, reaching forward through the right fingertips. Option one, stay here and breathe. Make sure you're not collapsing onto that left arm. Press down into the elbow. Option two, place the right, left fingertips on the inside of the left foot. Open the chest once again to the side, reach forward through the right arm. Option three, the whole hand can plant down. Option four, circle the top arm behind you, finding that half bind. And finally, if you're very experienced, you can thread the left arm under the left thigh, catch a hold of the right hand behind you and open the chest from here into your full bind. One breath, whatever option you took. and release that slowly. Everyone place your right hand onto your right thigh and come up into that first option with the forearm onto the thigh. Shift the weight forward and step the right foot halfway forward. Then release the left arm, plant the fingertips in front of the left foot and slightly to the right. Shift your weight into the left foot and begin to extend the right leg into the sky. Take your time. See if you can turn the chest and the hips towards the right. Maybe lift the right leg a little bit higher. If that's all going well, you can extend the right arm up towards the sky, breathe here. And final option, bend the right leg, maybe catch a hold of the foot, then kick back into your hand. One breath, whatever option you took, inhale and exhale. Slowly release. Then everyone will step the right foot back down onto the mat. Lower your right hand on the inside of the left foot. Plant the left hand on the outside of the left foot. Press into your hands and step the left foot back next to the right, finding your plank, final plank. So make it a really strong one. Inhale, we'll float through either chaturanga or cobra. Weight forward, lower either down or chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog or cobra. And exhale, downward facing dog. Well done, <laughs> really good job. You made it through the standing part of class. This is our final downward facing dog. Take a deep breath in through your nose. Open your mouth, sigh it out. <sighs> One more time, inhale through your nose. Open your mouth. <sighs> good. Let's all come down to child's pose. Lower your knees, <clears throat> excuse me, lower your knees down, point your toes, sit your hips back over your heels, lower the chest down, release the head down onto the mat. And take a moment to pause here. You can lower your elbows down on the floor as well. Relax completely. Two breaths. 
ومبرز and lift up. You can just sit out to the side and extend your legs in front of you. Maybe even actually shift yourself a little bit further forward on your mat. Extend your legs in front of you. Flex your feet, toes point towards the sky. If you need to sit on a cushion in case you're rounding too much through your spine, get, grab a pillow, sit on it to lift the hips up a little bit higher. Otherwise, find a tall spine. Inhale, reach up through your fingertips and exhale, fold forward over the legs. It doesn't have to look like anything. So work to your level. If your legs need to bend for you to fold, that's okay. If your spine is rounding, that's also okay. Relax your head down. Take a moment, three breaths here. You can even close your eyes. and slowly lift up. Good. Bend the left knee, place the sole of the left foot against the inner right thigh. Allow the left leg to lower down towards the floor as much as you can. Face forward over the right leg. Inhale, reach your arms up and exhale, fold over the right leg. Again, it doesn't have to look like anything. As long as you're feeling a sensation, that's good. And breathe. and come up. Good, re-extend re the left leg, bend the right leg, sole of your right foot against the inner left thigh. Again, allowing the right knee to fall out to the side. Flex your left foot, inhale, reach up, and exhale, fold forward. You can relax the head down. You can allow your spine to round. Breathe. and slowly make your way up. Well done. Bend both knees. Maybe shift the hips a little bit further forward. Good, lean back slightly. We'll find uh, both bows and then we'll transition on our back. So point your toes, grab behind your thighs, lean back, engage your core and see if you can lift the shins so they're parallel to the floor. Keep your toes pointed, engage the core. Option one, stay here with the hands supporting the legs. Option two, extend your arms forward, reaching forward. Option three, to extend the legs if you want, getting significantly more challenging at this point. Point through the toes again, breathe. Final option, if you really wanna go crazy, extend the arms up towards the sky alongside your ears and breathe three breaths, whatever option you chose. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Final breath, inhale. Exhale, everyone reach the arms forward. See if you can round through the spine, lower down with control all the way to the floor and lower down, nice. <laughs> Good job. Final thing, we'll do a back bend and then twist and we're in Shavasana. So bend your knees, place the feet underneath your knees, uh, extend your arms alongside your body. See if you can touch the backs of your heels. If you can, that's the perfect position of your feet. From here, we'll press into the feet to lift the hips up into bridge. So make sure your knees are gently squeezing in so they're not touching, but imagine that you're squeezing a block or a ball in between the knees. Press down into your arms to lift the chest and up the hips a little bit higher. Maybe even roll the shoulders underneath you to puff up the chest even more. And option one would be to stay right here, breathing for three more breaths. Or option two would be to bend the elbows and come into full wheel. If wheel is not part of your practice, then just stay here in your bridge like this. Or if you want to go into wheel, bend the elbows, hands either side of your um, head, press into your palms, then lift up into wheel, three breaths, whatever option you took. 
If you're in the wheel, press the chest back, press into your feet and breathe, inhale and exhale. Maybe walk the feet for closer towards your hands. One final breath, inhale and exhale. Everyone release down slowly, lowering all the way down. Take a moment. Allow your knees to knock in towards each other. Walk the feet so they're towards the edges of the mat. Take a moment, close your eyes. Notice the breath. Notice the heartbeat. Good, and now bring the, the both legs together towards your chest. Extend your arms out to the side, inhale. As you exhale, lower both legs over to the left for a spinal twist. Then maybe gaze towards the right. You can keep your eyes closed now, starting to wind down. Keep breathing, inhale and exhale into the right side of your waist. And then back to center, both legs towards the, the chest, inhale and exhale, lower the legs to the right as you gaze towards the left. Again, eyes are closed. And then slowly knees and legs back to center. Give your legs a nice final deep squeeze, maybe lift the chin up, lift the head. Make yourself into a tiny little ball. Inhale. And as you exhale, release the legs down, release the arms down alongside your body. And relax completely, finding your Shavasana. That final resting pose. Make sure you're comfortable. If you need to adjust anything, by all means, take up as much space as you need to. Your palms, palms of your hands face up towards the sky. Draw the shoulders down away from your ears. Let go of all the effort from the practice. and allow your body to absorb the benefits from this last one hour of movement.
slowly start to deepen your breath. Slowly start to reawaken your body. Maybe finding some small movements in your wrists, in your ankles. Maybe extend your arms up overhead, reaching up and reaching down through your toes, giving yourself a nice big stretch. And then release that, bend your knees, roll over onto one side. Keep your eyes closed and pause here for a moment. Notice how you feel now compared to the beginning of class. Notice if anything has shifted in your physical body or maybe mentally. And just notice that, observe, and don't judge. And slowly press yourself to come up, finding a comfortable seated position. Find a tall spine, ground down through your sitting bones. Place your hands in front of your heart. We'll take one final deep breath together to seal our practice. When you're ready, inhale through your nose. Open the mouth, exhale all the air out. Bow the chin down towards your chest. Namaste. Thank you so much.